everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back for a new series, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Now, I've never played the first game. Uh, I've saw it a once, I think. Uh, a couple of videos here and there. I've never really... It's been a while since the last time, the last game, the first game actually came out. So, I, I don't really remember much. All I remember is it's a game, it's a type of game that's all surrounded about, around parkour and there's zombies on it as well. So it's going to be interesting. It was a super scary game for, uh, a game for the first one, from what I remember as well. We'll see how the second one is. Uh, but uh, I'm really excited, boys. I'm really excited to play this game for you. Uh, this is going to be a brand new one. You're going to see uh, a pre-cut scene that was right before I entered the menu. I'm going to put it after I, uh, I'm finished talking here. Uh, before the actual entry-level uh, gameplay and stuff like that. So... Uh, we're gonna hop on in directly. I want to see what this game is all about. Obviously, we're gonna have to set up everything. So let me just set up my my luminosity and everything. Uh, I guess. All right. So it seems like it worked out. So a downloadable content pre-order bonus is available. As I did pre-order the thing. So visit Aiden Sash uh, Stash to access your new content. So uh, I've got access apparently in game to some bonuses because I pre-ordered the game or whatnot. Uh, we can swap weapons, which I definitely want to do. Music volume. Probably going to load that down. Because uh, you don't know if it's copyrighted or whatnot. We're going to bring it at half, boys. SFX volume, why not? Yeah, it's fine, I guess. You know what? SFX volume actually at 30. Because I want the voices to actually be uh, all the way up. Streamer mode. Uh, if you're a content creator, you can tell all this uh, to um, avoid playing music license. So on. Obviously, so we want to be on streamer mode now. Hopefully it doesn't do like the previous game that we did that where it showed the entire time It showed the streamer mode on the screen. It's uh, over here So hopefully it doesn't do that and it actually just uh, shows up normally, you know Because I hated that the fact that they had to show me streamer mode on my screen It was annoying for screenshots boys really annoying well, big up transparent. The other option is only black and black. You're not going to see anything on screen probably. So especially at nighttime. So forget about that. Uh, hold mode. Midi game uh, will allow for holding instead of tapping. No, I prefer tapping. And uh, enable hints. Sure, why not? All right. So everything else, I'm going to look around just to see, boys, what are my options. And then we'll hop into the game uh, in a proper, a proper fashion. Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. Few who survive now live in small enclaves. The only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. chance for us to learn from history and for once make the right choices because every choice you make here 
shapes the future. Irreversibly. This game used to be more fun. And you used to be younger. And dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. Well, we're starting right into it, boys. Seems like we're doing some sort of game for some reason. Okay, so already I know the button through block. That's already good. How do I sh okay so punching is this okay so already you know that uh, I already know the button for jumping as well uh, what about the button okay so that's crouching okay what is that exactly so how do I hold down if I want to sprint for example I don't know actually so I don't know which one is the sprinting button boys just yet we're, we're gonna figure that one out oh man look at that 180 you can turn around like that. That's kind of uh, a good uh, addition to the game right there. That's, I don't know if it, it was in the first game. It probably was, boys. Like I said, I never played the first one, so I can't really tell. But uh, here we go. So I set up the the stuff to be uh, just like an RPG. Uh, it has that uh, uh, that option. So I, I set it up like that just so uh, I can see the health bars of everyone, the stamina bar, everything, boys. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I might bring that down eventually. I'm not too sure, but I like I like when it's like a, an RPG, so you can see everything uh, around you. It can, you know what, exactly what uh, what you have on you and stuff. Okay, so I gotta go all the way up top there. Like I said, this is the type of game that's exactly what you think it is. Like it's it, it's a parkour game. It, it's literally that. It's just added to the mix. There's a lot of like uh, scary stuff because of zombies and whatnot. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long, but don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? And what you, what are you uh, gonna show me, buddy? It's incredible. Pilgrim's path. So, well, it's incredible. okay, we're doing a Most pilgrim. That's what we're doing. Okay. Didn't figure. Uh, I, I guess I didn't know before. Down, and you're still alive. So are you? I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Seriously. I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, uh, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. Let me search this. It's actually giving me an option, so I got some honey for that. I'm not too sure. Like, crafting-wise, uh, crafting, uh, crafting -wise, or what I can do with all these. Not too sure what's that going to give me for a, a gift for me and stuff. Okay, so objective updated. Collect honey and chamomile. So we got the honey already. Uh, survivor sense. Okay, so that's how you know. I knew we were going to have some of the, one of those things. Uh, let's pick that up. And there's another one right here, actually. I'm so used to pressing uh, the A button to jump on yeah, games. This will do. Not used to pressing the other one and stuff. So that's a, uh, an interesting uh, thing. I'm going to pick up as many as I can. I actually got to hold it, I believe. Yeah, I got to hold the thing. I can hear the zombies nearby. Although not a lot because my my sound of the game, the sound of my game is literally a little bit low down. Which I should probably bring it up. Because if I want to hear the zombies around me, it would be a good idea, boys, to know where they are at, you know. 
so I don't jump. I don't don't run into you them like an idiot. We help this court to her village. Oh yeah, the one that had that saying. Um, remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them, and lucky you, you just might go on living. All right, so we got an extra, some extra chamomile and extra honey from that. Blueprint. So you receive a new blueprint. Uh, press this to, for the crafting menu. So this is how we get there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is where you store your craft, uh, store your crafts items and whatnot. I'm telling you already. I'm not gonna be good at crafting. I never am, unless it's super simple. I'm not gonna be good at it. All right. So uh, now over into the medicine blueprint. Okay, and uh, we can craft some. So I'm going to craft the maximum amount because I got a feeling we're going to need a lot of those boys. And inventory wise, so we got, it's a lot like Resident Evil in some points. You've got like the consumable, the crafting and, 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 and everything. We got the bracelets. Okay, all that stuff that we can do. We can change the, the, the gear and whatnot. Okay, got you. What about the backpack? So what's in my backpack? That's the craft items and stuff that I got. Okay. We also have my journal, which tells me my missions and whatnot that I got to do. Okay, we've got my skill tree, uh, of course. Collectibles and hints. Uh, climbing, jump distance, jumping, survivor sense. That's all uh, the abilities I can get. Okay, got you. So now I can actually heal yep. myself, which yeah, is fine. Good. Okay, so uh, I guess we're following him. They still haven't told me how to sprint. It's probably going to come in eventually as soon as we have to run from zombies or something i got a feeling we can run faster than this it seems like we're just jogging right now all right wh what now buddy this is it come on are you gonna let me through okay there we go so we're running right into it nice little building oh, by the way guys really appreciate <laughs> your incredible nice support i want to tell you that uh your love and your uh, attention to me uh, this past month have Damn been incredible. I'll try to get through here. And uh, I really appreciate it. Take it means a lot to me. Use. Just wanted I'm to sure. tell you guys. That's all. Is he going to be able to open that door or what's going on here? He looks like a dumbass, man. Why are you trying See, to... Okay. So Search the house. The okay, in. so I guess, you know what? Got to find another way in probably. This guy looks like a dumbass. He tried to open the door. It wouldn't open. Okay, so crouch. Wh which one is that? It's this one. Okay, yeah, there, there we go. So I can crouch like that. Let me uh, see really quick. Let me look around. I'm going to always scan for items that I can uh, can get. Super important in the, uh, this type of game. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah, there we go. First aid, boys. They're going to take that all day. Uh, we also have this one. Let's search this. We've got some feathers. Are there going to be any zombies in here? I hope not. I hope we're going to be okay. I will lose my mind if there's zombies in here that jump scare me, boys. I am not going to... There's probably one behind that door, to be honest. I don't like this. I can't see through the, them to the, sky, uh, the scanner, so... What is this? Rags. Okay, let me pick that up. Open this. Nothing in here. Nothing in the fridge. I like how it's... Uh, it tells me by color schemes uh, if it's a rare item or whatnot. What are these things right there? Investigate. Last party. spring party 2023. Yeah, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. Okay. And what about this one right here? Investigate. Five years later, who remembers Iran? So I can uh, investigate those things. I'm not too sure what they do for me. Maybe they help out in the long term. I do not like the, like the sound of that right now, boys. I feel like this is the door I have to open for him. I don't know if I really want to open that door. Let me open it, boys. I know I'm going to get jump scared. I know there's going to be a zombie in here. He's looking on the left purposely. Okay, there's nobody here. Okay, I knew it. It was just a minor jump scare, I guess. It's just uh, some rats, so never mind, boys. Yeah, How did he get in here? Wait, what? We parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you, and you know what I'm saying. You're starting to worry about someone. It means it's time to go. 
What are you worrying about me for? I'm doing fine. He just left. The fuck is wrong with him? Okay, whatever, boys. Let me uh, check. Uh, there's some more stuff. Some resin. And we've got uh, this stuff right here. So what do we got in here? Some rice. Okay. Well, uh, I don't have anything else. The laptop's obviously not gonna work. So I really don't have anything else. Okay. Yeah, I thought for sure we're gonna get we were gonna get jump scare. Well, I guess not. And this door, I thought it was locked. Somehow he got in. It's, this is an entire room in here. How did f this guy is? I don't know how he gets in these places. I'm uh, um I'm gonna go and investigate all these. Wait, can I not? In uh, there we go. I can investigate this. And that's what they called art. Yeah, well, you know. It's abstract, my guy. What do you, uh, what do you know? Uh, I'm not too sure about some uh, some of the art as well. Sometimes, not too sure what it means, boys. Okay, so uh, let me just look around really quick. What is this? Investigate. There we go. Some books here and there. Oh, some yeah, wine. I tasted back then. Uh, if you wonder, then drink it. Oh, my God. All right, there's a guitar here. We could take the guitar. I mean, it's transforming to The Last of Us 2. All of a sudden, we play guitar all the time, boys. What about this? A record. So this must have been like a record studio or something, boys. Sounds familiar. Doesn't sound familiar to me at all. I don't know anything about the uh, uh, title like this. So there's the bag. We've got some scraps. Scraps are always uh, have always been my friend, boys. Not a zip. Nothing in there. And there's a piano in here. What is that? Can I not access this? Hide area. So there's probably something behind that I can... Uh... Oh, I can hide under it. Wait. If they're telling me that I can hide under stuff, that means uh, there's got to be really something bad waiting for me right here. Uh, some rags and cigarettes. And finally, some other rags. I got some more stuff. They're giving me plenty of stuff right now. Cigarettes at the wazoo. What about this? Uh, the fridge? Or oh, no, it's a closet. Let me get some resin in here. Okay, good. Anything else I can I can, uh, I can take, boys? I guess I got some scraps over here. I think that's pretty much it. Let me uh, just open this door. Heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. Boys, tell me why it t makes me uncomfortable the fact that he stands there right beside the dead bodies and whatnot and it doesn't bother him. It's very uncomfortable. Very much, boys. Like, even if they're dead, just make sure to move them aside or something or... I don't know. Just poke them in the head just to make sure they're dead. Re they're truly dead. This guy seems... Uh, my, uh, my main character, boy, seems like an idiot sometimes. He's just like... Stands there awkwardly beside a dead, a dead body, of all things. All right, investigate. I mean, it looks like he's just looking to uh, to get bitten off or something. At least they had each other. Well, at least we know what they look like. What about this one right here? I wonder what happened here, man. It's it classy. Got to be one single zombie that came in or infected, whatever you want to call it. Uh, came in, uh, all of a sudden decided to kill all, all of them. Or maybe they starved to death. It seems like they more slightly starved to death or something. And anything else right here that I can look at? 
Is there... Okay, there it is. Right here. Let me see really quick. There's another portrait. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. It wants me to sit there on the balcony. Okay. Let me look around more. some more. There might be some stuff I'm hiding. Uh, I'm uh, missing. And there's not. So, okay. Let me go up there. How do I get up there? Can I just do some parkour and just uh, jump? Uh, I guess. Wait. Can I do that? I can. Of course I can. I said that uh, as a joke, man. That I could do some parkour and nearly jump in there. But I guess I, I was able to do it. All right, let me let me talk to him then. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world would be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. Two. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Uh, what did you say or so earlier? I think this game is exactly like the movie if you guys ever saw a movie uh, I am legend. I think it's the same purpose the infected can't go during the light uh, in the light so they are either there during nighttime or in the uh, dark places and whatnot so I think that's how it works during the daytime they can't show up. I think that's how it works mostly or maybe they're still there but I think they're still there but they're weaker or something like that. Uh, why did you say so earlier? What guy? Uh, what guy? What, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Walt, I found someone who knows him. Uh, why didn't you say so earlier then? Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you guessed right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly, he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. And where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, and suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. All right. Well, do you know if he wants to return? I'll go straight to the city. You know, why do I just go straight to the city and meet him? I'll just go straight to the city. It's not that simple. Villador was supposed to be one of the zones. Cities that were walled off to keep out the plague. The plan fucked up. But this city... And its walls survived. But this guy knows a way in. Get in touch with him and he'll tell you everything. All right, then. So do you know what he wants? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. 
I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was going to say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy, or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz, at dawn, the guy's waiting for you. All right, well, you know what would be, what would be nice, even more than having this uh, baseball bat now as a weapon, would, to, would be to have an actual option. Now, if I want to go to the antenna, I can go to the antenna. If I don't want to and I want to go straight to the city, I can. That would be nice. So I'm going to try that. Uh, I got the weapon now, so I can fight with it, which I'm not too sure. Uh, is it breakable? Is the weapon uh, breakable? I'm not too sure. Uh, let me uh, jump down really quick. Whoa, now. We're gonna jump down and uh, yeah, sure. Let's just jump down really quick. So we're out of this place. We're gonna leave it. Uh, is there anything here I can look at? No, not really. It doesn't seem like it. So we're parting ways with our friend here. It seems like we're about to go in the wild alone. And the sunset is uh, uh, not the sunset. The the, um, the sun is actually. Uh, getting down a little bit so it's about to go super dark which is not a good thing so i'm supposed to go buy the antenna i can go straight to the the city if i want though i would have to go all the way uh, down there so how do i can i jump into the water let me try it i know that must be a stupid idea boys but i want to try it boys take it let's go boys all right Straight into the water. I like it. It actually worked boys. What do you know? So it actually works. We can uh, we can go straight to uh, straight for it. We can actually dive as well. So Obviously, uh, we know how to swim. That's probably a good way of hiding from zombies and whatnot infected Okay, so anybody here There's got to be someone in this place. Let me actually interact with this place. Uh, oh biters. There's zombies here all right then thank you take it all right got him there's one right, run right there so I got this one okay let me let me just uh, really jump there we go got it got him okay good any more zombies that I gotta look for okay let's go let's go boys take him boom all right that's done that's a good weapon right now it's saving my ass I could have just punched them to death but it's always good to have a weapon as well. Let me search them. Just make sure that uh, nobody is around me. Okay, no. It doesn't seem like there's anybody else that I need to worry about. So that's good. Let's just pick up everything, boys. Search this real quick. There goes some more honey. And uh, we got some more. So there's those things we can craft. Let me actually see really quick. Uh, is there anything I can craft that would be... Like anything else that would, uh, I can craft. I don't know what I can craft, boys. I don't know if I can craft anything else. It doesn't seem like it. So for now, we'll just just wait it out. Let me open this. Bring my weapon up. Just in case, boys. There's uh, anybody that... Uh, any infected that decides to jump on me. I'm ready for anything, boys. Okay, take that. Doesn't seem like there's anybody here. 
Seems like I killed everybody, so we should be all right. Me, I'll uh, just take these, open this up, take this, and uh, take everything I can, boys. I hope there's not like uh, a certain amount of limited objects you can get. Hope it's not the case. Oh, there's uh, other stuff in here. All right, good. Let's jump, boys. Let's jump into the window. Okay, so that's how you switch. I can switch like that. There's a wheel and stuff. Uh, okay, so that's good. So there seems to be definitely a durability up um, upgraded to this game. Let me actually actually try to go directly to the city, boys. Oh, now there's definitely going to be some zombies in here. Oh, yeah. These are all zombies, actually. Can I stealth kill him? I can. I can take them down. Good. I can stealth kill them, boys. Good. That's good stuff. That's really good stuff. Can I take him uh, Take him out? Take him out. There we go. Boom. Perfect. So I got to go behind them. So I got to go quietly. Let me do that. Oh, okay. Hold on. Take it. All right. Let's go. Let's take him out, boys. All right. There's multiple of them. Let's just be careful right here. Boom. All right. Good. There we go. Got him. There's, a, there's one more behind me or something. Not too sure why, or where they are, boys. Uh, we gotta aim for it. Oh, I got uh, I got hit a little bit there, boys. Got hit a little bit. Let me take it. This is a big dude. Big dude right here. Take it. Take it for this man. Okay, yeah. There's there's a lot of them right here. Gotta watch out. Okay. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Take them out, boys. Take all of them out. I'm not hiding from zombies. Fuck this. Taking you all out. Are we going to be good here? Is there going to be any more waiting for me or something? Like, how many do I have to kill? At least I'm getting a lot of loot, so I can't complain too much. There we go. Gets a lot, getting a lot of loot. I actually got some money for the first time. Let me actually kill, uh, kill him off. Oh, he's, he's dead already. Okay. Well, you know what? I think this is a perfect place to end it. As it says, uh, welcome, I guess. We're going we're gonna, to uh, go to the antenna. For now, I believe it's the only option we've got, uh, truly. We can't really go through the city ourselves. So uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this first video. Uh, I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.